Alright, here we go. Wow, well that was fun. That can be the start of the of the web series. I'm gonna do a weekly one this season uh, where I'm gonna talk about ski culture and stuff in skiing and, and I'll be your host. So I figured this first one should be on myself. I have my buddy Torstein do an introduction. This is Nikolai. Nikolai loves what he does. Both in front of the camera and behind the camera. Nikolai just wants to share his adventures with the world. The world needs adventure. I don't know if the world really needs adventure. That's just something I told my sponsors to get money to do this. I'm from Norway, where I used to live in this house with six of my buddies, but then it got torn down. So a few weeks back, I relocated to Canada. I bought this big black truck and a big black sled to get into the BC lifestyle. You know, just trying to go full Canadian. <laughs> and most importantly, beef jerky. It looks pretty badass, actually, but it's super noisy. Without the noise, though, it's really, really, really nice out here. See the lights and watch them burn. <laughs> now you've been to hell and back. Remember what you once called home. Take a deep breath in and you forget. The locals around here are pretty nice too. On the left? Yeah, sure. Anyways, these people right here, they're my parents. They're pretty happy that I graduated law school last spring. I'm the only one who got a C. All the other ones got A's and B's. I can spend all winter skiing, right? I still expect a good grade. It shouldn't come easier to me, but it's just like just has like the past years it has come easier got a law degree though so i just decided to skip going into law for a bit and i moved out here to pemberton instead all right first day here and uh, calum's coming and abba's gonna be there and i'm like okay i don't even know what the train looks like up there i just hope i don't get stuck as much today as i did yesterday so first day sledding on my own ah! I've been stuck four times on the trail. All right, first day. Got the elite camera crew here, Brandon on this one. Like pretty much everyone in Whistler, Brandon's been a pro skier. He used to be in all those movies I watched on repeat growing up. Nowadays, he just works with people like Sammy Carlson and Sean Pettit, so no pressure on me. There Brandon goes. Okay, let's see if I can do it. Yeah, made it up here. Only one little roll on the snowmobile, so that's good. Abma and Callum are nowhere to be seen. They're the veterans. They sled farther past where the newbies go. Should be fun to snow. Seems soft. Into, into the city. Into. Going. Hey, how's it going? Getting in there, eh? Yeah, December 3rd, we're usually scratching around the resort, hitting icy park jumps, and uh, yeah, once again, you came at a good year because we've got a good base and great pow, and it's cold out, man, and the snow is just top notch. 
Yeah, no, you're you're kind of right in the, the heart of it here, man. You got a pretty freaking rad view of some pretty prominent peaks that you could start setting some goals for yourself for this winter. Okay, I'm just gonna move a little further into the face before I drop. There might be some snow moving in there too, eh? Yeah, it looks like it. I'll try to like do a, a diagonal line. Stay away from the slough. Well, that was fun. The sea runs deep, the river's wide And you wonder why you ever came into Into the city Into I did cheat a little bit with this first one because we did shoot most of it at the beginning of December. Uh, but from now on it'll be strictly weekly and we'll talk about other stuff than myself so it might be more interesting. So yeah, check back in next week. Let's have a little look here. Dark gate. One, two, three.